Hey guys, what's up? And in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make little planet photos. So, what you're going to need to do is make a normal panorama. Um, I find that 360 degree panoramas work best. So, this is 58 exposures um, of a camera on a tripod in manual mode. You want to, if you're new to photography, you're going to put it in auto, take a single photo, and then look at the um, the settings that the camera chose for you and then put it in manual, use those settings if you like um, but just have it in manual so that the exposure is exactly the same throughout the whole sequence um, so yeah this is 360 degrees at 58 exposures and here is the final panorama um, so I'm going to be showing you how to get those photos to this and then to this, which is a massive file so it's going to take a while to render but you'll see it. So I'm going to be using Photoshop and um, what, you, what you're going to want to do straight away is go to file, uh, come on, <laughs> file, automate, photo merge at the bottom one right there. And this is what's going to make your panorama. Um, you're going to do auto and then you're just going to press browse and you're going to select that one press shift to select that one through to that one and then you're going to import all of these and press ok um, and then blend images together, take that you don't need to do any of this and then press ok I'm not going to do it because it uses a metric butt ton of processing power and stuff like that so I'm just going to come back to you when it's finished alright so it's finally done um, now to save RAM usage and all of that kind of good stuff. Um, we're going to flatten this so that you have one layer. Um, so you right click and go to uh, flatten image. Now that's done it quite nicely. Um, so now it's going to use a lot less RAM and you can do it quickly and not worry about your computer and stuff like that. But obviously it's not perfect around the edges so um, and it's also the ground is underexposed. Um, I did that deliberately because otherwise the sky would be too bright. My camera just doesn't have a very good high dynamic range. Um, a very good dynamic range even. So what we're going to do now is just, you know, sort this, sort these things out here. So I'm using the clone stamp tool and what you're going to do is um, select a point to clone from. Oh yeah, alt click, I did shift click. Alright, and then uh, this isn't big enough. Alright, that should be big enough. Okay, so now we're just going to do this sort of thing and keep changing your reference point so it doesn't all look the same. Alright, so I kind of. I. It got really um, annoying here around the tree, like you can see it kind of ruined. That's a really tricky part to do, um, so I've decided I'm just going to crop it. Um, it's, it's not going to be a good idea to do that. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this, but that's an easy bit. I'm just going to crop the top because of all the trees, it's really hard to do, so um, well, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. But you don't, you really want to avoid cropping because it's just. It's gonna, it's gonna basically ruin it because you'll have a thinner photo, and it will just be annoying to, to do, to deal with. There we go. So, looks a bit worse now, but it'll do. I'm just gonna finish off this bit here. All right. So now that you've done it, you've, um, you know, buffed it all up around the edges. Um, it should be looking okay. Yeah, I think that looks, that looks pretty good. Um. So yeah, now you're going to edit it, now that all the layers are in you know, one layer, you can edit the whole thing now, so just do your usual, uh, you know, whatever you want to do to it, I'm just going to, where's my uh, dodge, I'm just going to brighten up this ground area here, because I think it looks a bit too dark, and even this is taking quite a long time, every now and then it has to load and render it, because it's like 21,000 pixels long. Which is just ridiculous. 
Alright, so now that you've done everything you want to do to the final panorama, such as, you know, colour color changes and stuff like that, um, now you're going to want to flip it 180 degrees. Um, image rotation 180 degrees. Um, and this is this is the point where you're going to gonna do the circle. So now you do, I think this is right, you do filter, distort, polar coordinates, uh, make sure the top rectangular to polar one is ticked. And press OK. It should. Oh god, it's going to take a while to render. Alright, so that's good. Kind of. <laughs> it looks it looks a bit crap, but it's good for the moment. Um, so now what you're going to need to do is. Uh, where was this? Okay, yeah. You go to image and then canvas size. Um, and you're going to want to make this about the same as the width um, never less you can do more if you want but about the same so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 80 and that's 90 <laughs> I'm gonna do 80 and then I'm gonna press this to leave a little bit of space on the top oh wait no cancel hold on hold on you need to get rid of this lock before you do anything okay so image uh, canvas size do what we just did press that and that's all you need to do here, you don't need to tick anything, that's it. And that should, yeah, that's done it, okay. Now if we zoom out, um, do Control T to select it, and then just bring this up until it looks sort of like what you want it to look like. And it, that'll do. That's somewhere there. It doesn't really matter, this is just for demonstration purposes, <laughs> which is just my excuse, actually. If it goes wrong, always say it's just for demonstration purposes. Alright, anyway, so now you're gonna, you're gonna crop that, because you don't want that. I don't like this new Photoshop. I don't know what this does. I think that's undo, but I'm gonna press enter. Okay. Alright, so once you're at this stage, uh, what you're gonna want to do is get your um, elliptical marquee tool, or in other words, circle selecting tool thing. <laughs> Alright, well I can't work out how to add to the circle and move it without doing a load of stuff, but my computer's really struggling with this, it's like a 35 megabyte file. Um, so, I'm just going to say this will do. I really have to, You really have to go drag the circle from the very corner, pretty much, um, to get it kind of perfect. Crop at this stage. And... Then you inverse it and press delete. I'm hoping that has worked. Yes, that's worked. Okay, good. Alright, so that's that's pretty much kind of what we want for the moment, but um, there's this massive, great, big behemoth of a line here, which we kind of don't want. Um, so we're going to try and sort of get rid of that. And there's I've managed to get two of the same tree, <laughs> which I've, I've kind of sucked at doing this. But again, it's just for demonstration purposes. You can rotate how you like. I think that looks that looks pretty good kind of but um I like the sky here to be on top. It just looks better. Um obviously you could like fill out the edge here, spend ages doing it, which I do recommend. This is just for demonstration purposes again. Um this did this didn't really work out. I, I probably should have taken out this final exposure exposure um because now I have two of the same tree which kinda sucks. But um, hopefully now I can show you some little planet photos that did work out and I spent a while on. So if you're like me and putting it in a video, then you want to save it as a PNG file if you don't have the edges to it. Um, and that will just save the photo, the, the circle, without the background. So here's a slightly better one of my college. Um, basically I spent over three hours making this one um, using the clone tool to make the sky um, all over the place because this was just a massive white overexposed area um, you can probably tell that I've done the cloning on the clouds but um, I, it doesn't really matter to be honest I think it's worked pretty well I the, I made a 360 panorama again um, but I got rid of the no I cropped it to make it fit to the other end 
so that there wasn't a big line that doesn't fit here. Um, so you just have to crop it to exactly where you where you need it, and you have to do trial and error and stuff. But yeah. Alright guys, well thanks for watching, I hope this helped you, and I will see you later.